the screen shrunk quite a bit there actually I haven't moved the camera or anything what the fuck success of sorts uh, what should I say S to start it's got to be joystick in bloody hell I hate it when games do shit like that. Well, maybe on a real CPC it don't really matter. You can just uh, just go and uh, do something like cook your sausages in a very healthy way. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do that because he's, he's not a cookery channel. And the reason why I wouldn't do a cookery channel is because, well, YouTube algorithm is written by cocksuckers. Yeah, that's that simple. Clueless fucking C sharp coding cocksuckers or whatever they use. Right, this does not look good because there's no stripy lines or anything. Is it? Is that meant to be the case now? No oh, man, I fucking hate these uh, stupid turbo loaders that take forever and stop in the middle. What a cunt. It's a fucking miracle. Something loaded. Ooh. That's a surprise for the book. Responsive controls, colourful graphics. I can't remember how you jump over that bit that I got stuck on on the C64 version. This is kind of what the C64 version should look like, sir. That's why I don't like the C64 version. It's in that shit BBC Micro mode. You know, the screen mode that's only supposed to be used for writing games in basic. Okay, is that better? No, I prefer the stone. Dragonstone Castle. Isn't it? Yeah, I've gone off. I uh, know oh I've run out of them things. Can we scroll back? No. Bit of cake always helps. Cake bikini. Now, famously, it's not cake, it's cake. That's uh, from an episode of uh, EastEnders. Which maybe uh, some people can see in America, I don't know. They keep making me drop the bloody thing. So it moves really nice. And uh, the graphics are really nice. This is pretty good actually for the CPC. This would be good for the C64 mate. Cake, bikini. Oh no, we've lost the uh, light bulb that we're throwing at there. Pound shop uh, LED light bulb, who knows mate. Oh no. We need time for the water pistol, is I'm not very good at these sort of games, man. Oh no, I've lost the water. Where's the water pistol? You asshole. I don't know if I'm actually getting it, that's the thing. Off with his fucking head, mate. Some sort of uh, energy bar for the enemy would be nice. The thing is, he just sits in the middle of the fucking swing that bastard. Good, piss off. Other than that, it's uh, bloody brilliant, mate. Nice graphics. Uh, very good scrolling for the CPC. Now, I will point out that they're only using half the height and half the width of the CPC screen for this bit here, never mind all this shit up here for the scores and lines and all that, they don't scroll, so. Uh, so there is that. Yay! So if you can live with that, the fact that it's only using like a third of the screen, this is like unexpanded VIC-20 size screen. And I know you appreciate all these uh, all these technical uh, comments I make. I know you all appreciate them. That's why they're staying. 
that's what Mad Commodore brings to the pot. Hey, brings to the uh, death scene. Why are all the missiles going over behind me? I don't like that. Give me the cake in it. But that's, that's not really a negative point on the CPC bird. That's probably an arcade problem. But uh, they're using like a quarter or a third of the screen. So, oh, what's this? Is this something missile? What was that thing? It didn't seem to do anything. Hey, what the hell is that? I'm not happy about this. <laughs> so, to get this to uh, be the same sort of size as like the Amiga version, uh, you have to play it on a 28-inch CRT, which you can do. Amstrad did sell a modulator. They always end up in the same place. I'm losing too many lights so I'm getting these things. Uh, I think I'll first uh, sort out three of them. Always the same place. Ah, come on, man. Well, I don't know what's happening there. Please, no, with a multi load. We're in trouble now. Oh no, it's gone back to a turbo date to whatever it was. Ah, shit. No, we don't now. That. That's definitely not what we want. Uh, I think we want number eight. Now, a good turbo loader will uh, work out that this is not the thing that it needs. But anyway, this might not work, so. And I have to go and turn the sausages off. Six sausages, you say? Well, they're in uh, packets of 12 anyway, so I don't know. Why well, am I losing all that energy? Well, because uh, I don't want to play the rest of it, so I, the niceness of the graphics continue. Hey, where did it come from? Oh, that's what's getting me. There's things coming out the uh, floor. I do like this game. They get like a mini boss and shit. And the uh, bombs might come in handy there. It's like Salamander, but nothing like it. Hey, what happened to the rest of the bombs? Oh bloody hell, instant death, mate. Oh man. Hey, you lose a lot of energy as soon as the. Uh, you know, the son of a bitch uh, touches you. Oh, God damn it. Uh, how many lives do I lose there? It's a difficult level, this is. I can't get off the uh, lava. Is that lava floor? Just, I don't know what's going on. Why can't I go on the grass, please? So, yeah. Like I said, if you have the Amstrad modulator, which you'd be crazy not to buy, uh, you really want to be playing this game on, uh, you know, on a 28 inch CRT TV, and then it's absolutely fine, absolutely fine. So. Sit, sit like, uh, you know, three foot away from it, like you did when you was a kid watching Star Wars. Don't ask me why, just how it was. Well, in my case, that's where the VCR was. So I could fast forward past all the fucking Ewoks. Yeah. Even when I was in my very early teens, I couldn't stand the Ewok bullshit on uh, Return of the Jedi. The only time I watched them bits was uh, when I watched it in the cinema. Other than that, <laughs> fast forward City Boy. Ah, oh, bollocks. But I think we're either on uh, number 9 or number 10. I don't know what to do with them things actually. Ooh, we've actually done a level. I think we're on turbo load 10. It doesn't seem to corrupt it if you have the wrong thing. So, 
But some good uh, fast uh, multi loads do actually say found level one or something. This isn't one of those, but uh, not having as many problems as a uh, final fight. I might have to uh, try loading final fight from uh, VLC. It's a lot easier, even though I can't see the exact track data. Uh, I could temporarily like pull out the uh, headphone jack and uh, listen for a break, you know, rewind it slightly. On this CDT to WAV thing, you can't really mess about with it, especially those tape images that have like, you know, 60 chapters or tracks to it. It won't let you scroll down it, uh, anyway. And the shit video quality continues. Oh man, I don't like that because uh, you have to really be sitting there to move straight away. Why can't I get past that bit then? Hang on, uh, there is a way to jump. I can't remember how you do it. There it is. There is some levels you have to jump on. So. Luckily, you rarely have to use a jump button, so it's not a problem that it's on the keyboard. So yeah, uh, apart from the fact that it's only using like a quarter of the screen to actually display the, uh, you know, the, the scrolling game area, apart from that, uh, it is very good. The scrolling is really nice, the graphics are really nice, the sound effects are fine. I can't remember if there was any music or anything. I think you need weapons to do these arseholes. So that's it really. That was pretty good. If a bit uh, Vic 20 sized on the screen. So hopefully this will be the uh, 16 colour version of Tales of the Arabian Nights. I don't know what's going on with this camera, the uh, lineup is just not working, mate. Mate! That was me pressing the box, I wasn't having a shit. I don't record my videos in the toilet, my top hat gave me. Oof! Anyway, hey. This stuff doesn't really get recommended to me actually anymore. Although, I have had to clear my search history and a few other bits and pieces to uh, teach fucking YouTube that I don't want to watch those uh, stupid millennial videos. Uh, live cam of some beach front somewhere or some trains or kittens or some clueless knobs giving you essential advice. All that kind of shit. Oh, actually, I hope the uh, arseholes who bought the house uh, opposite me, they don't start putting them fucking uh, floodlights on at night. Because uh, the guy across the road, who his brother put in a home after his mum who was living with him died, uh, even though he was looking after his mum. Anyway, uh, he had these uh, floodlights fitted. So I'd have to buy like really uh, thick curtains to uh, block out that sort of light. Plus I find it annoying anyway. Ah, come on man. 45k light. I didn't think it was like a bloody uh, 64k game. Nearly done though. We're loading this from VLC. I've given up on CDT to work. Right, it's the 16 colour version. Here we go. I don't know if it has a speech though. <laughs> it's kind of weird hearing this music on the, uh, you know, the AY chip. It seems to be some tones missing. Now where the hell 
hooked up on that wire for the uh, speakers. Do we have the speech? No. No, bollocks. Speech is probably my favourite thing about the game. However, this bit of the game does seem to play better. So, so don't climb up the ladders. Don't be stupid, man. Uh, I think you have to... Ah! I was right, you have to jump over from there to there. Uh, I don't think you can actually climb down. So. so that is a bit of an issue with this game. Uh, so I have to spell out the words Arabian. I didn't even know you could do that, mate. Oh, shit. Ah, see, that's the thing. Is, uh... That bird really fucks you up because you can't go up and down the ladders, as far as I know. I'll try it. Look, you can't. You just can't do it, mate. And you can't even dodge them uh, things. So, it's a really annoying game. So, that's the thing. It is a shit game, but I like the speech on it. The speech probably accounts for like 33% of how much I like it. And the music, which might sound better using the uh, TV modulator. Now uh, you can't drop that much. See? It's an infuriating game. The game has ended. Oh, thy game has ended. Yeah, it's a shame about the speech. Yeah, I'm sure I could have done the speech, they just couldn't be bothered to do it, really. That's all there is to it, really. Okie dokie. Ah, come on, man. Funny thing is, I haven't found an original copy of this game yet on the uh, C64 to load up. I did have this, so I have to load it from tape. Ah, come on! What doesn't come off the side of the screen? Yeah, Interceptor games are notoriously unplayable. That's the thing. Uh, Tales of the Arabian Nights is, uh, is not any more playable than... Um... Ah, fuck off! I didn't even touch it, man. It should have generous collision detection in this uh, fucking game, not the other way around. So you have to wait for this arsehole now. But there is no time limit as far as I remember. No, there shouldn't be. There you go. You can stay there. And, and... Ah, god damn it! I didn't even touch him. It's like fucking character based collision detection. It's a real cunt. At least on the C64 you've got the hardware collision detection that they're using for the sprites. Whee! Come on in you bastard. So you have to spell out the words Arabian obviously. I've got a video of this on my channel. Not anyone really gives a shit. Oh, that's the other thing. You can't jump up when you're right on the edge. It's a really dumb thing. You have to be really careful actually with this shit. Come in your bastard. Come here, you asshole. And the timing's all wrong anyway. So I'm not going to get to level 2 anyway. So, But I have got a video of this on my channel anyway. So. Not anyone gives a shit, another world exclusive, but I'm mad Commodore that no one gives a fuck about. Let's wait for this cunt up here. Ah, ah. If 
deteriorating though. But for some reason I, I like it on the C64. Nostalgia, I guess. And the speech. Without the speech, it's uh, it's not any better than uh, China Minor. So there is that. There is the theory of the Mobius. Which is... Uh, ah, come on! Motherfucker. Infuriating game. So, I don't know why anyone would like this game. This is a problem. Woo -woo -woo. There's notes missing there as well. But, on the whole, the music is not bad. And I only have like one loose copy of the game on the set. I feel like going and loading it. Trying to load it on the new tape deck I found. Or new Old Faithful. But as for this, I can't go to play shit anymore. And that's the loading screen. Uh, it's pretty nice actually. Uh, they've gone to some effort. It's quite nicely drawn. And it isn't in the stupid BBC Micro Mode 1 shit. Let's see if the uh, multi-load is a cunt or if we get to play anything. Something loaded. Oh no! Let's see if we can uh, find the manual now. Oh, what's it say? Oh, no. We'll see across and 39 down. Okay. So I was, uh, I was loading something else and it needed a lens lock. I can't remember what it was. It's a shame because uh, obviously I don't actually have a lens lock. Oh, you're healthy, don't you? Know. Right, luckily, mate, to fight in your teenage. Got that kind of channel, mate. Yeah, both like right, uh, manual. Which one is the manual? Give your kick, or it could be new, bro. Where's the uh, fucking coach? Oh, by the way. What's it saying? Right, so that's right. Third column is C. So C across and 39 down is 7809, apparently. Correct! Joysticks at the ready, sir. have a sword, so it must be this one. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ah, fucking hell. Yep. Yeah. turbo data to load uh, and then there's a, a side 2 apparently so uh, the tape image download is, you, you can download side 1 and 2 obviously being French they call it face 1 and uh, face A and B That's, uh, but you get the idea so uh, so far, we don't need to use VLC, and there's quite a bit more to load actually, there's still about 30% more of the actual tape image to play through, even though it's on the last like, track I suppose you'd call it, number 22, Turbo Data 2, and uh, number 23 is labelled Eject Tape. You love all this extra information, right, let's hope it works. Screen has seemed to have shrunk. But it's not quite as uh, Vic 20 sized as uh, Dynamite Ducks, so. No, it's been like absolutely shit, I reckon. Ah, 
I don't know what that noise is, it's not the uh, laptop. Look. It's a CPC anyway, start one play again. Ah bollocks, what the fuck was it loading? You asshole. I press play on tape, you cunt. I fucking hate people who don't write decent multi loads. Why do I have to do this shit? Now it's gonna fuck me up for the uh, later bits. Either put all the levels on side B, or just fucking uh, do one level and then turn the tape over so that you only need to. Uh... Actually, yeah, what's gonna happen now if I lose all my lives and credits uh, anyway? Ah, uh, back again and maybe eventually if I can give a shit. Look, it says uh, press fire and then it's like, fuck you, I'm just going to start the game anyway. So actually the graphics are not bad and uh, the scrolling is actually okay. Here's a bit of a 4 pixel chunky scroll maybe. Uh, now the problem with a C64 version is slow down. <coughs> Which uh, I haven't really experienced yet on this shit. Of course, there's no reason why there should be slowed down on the uh, C64 version if the uh, programmers knew what the fuck they were doing. Doesn't some shit come rolling out of it? Yeah, it does. There it goes. They seem a bit smaller, the, uh, the little uh, shit balls. And there's hardly any flames on the bottom going on there. More like a little bonfire, I would say. Not quite Daenerys Targaryen's dragons attacking uh, Euron. Uh... Oh, fucking concentrate, my console. Don't have any cheats on these games. Yeah, that's nothing. All these games I've been playing have got zero like cheats on them. So, so at least I managed to pick the right guy. This is uh, the one I like because it's got the uh, staff weapon, uh, longer reach I guess. Yeah, this is quite nice, the music was quite nice on the title screen, I don't know if I had that going. He's nicer than the C64 version. I don't know, scrolling the uh, game window seems to be about 50% of the uh, Amstrad screen. It's not too bad. On a 28 inch CRT it'd look glorious. On a 36 inch CRT it'd be bigger than a C64 with a 14 inch monitor. I dread loading uh, multi-load games up from tape, I really do. I'd never load multi-load games from tape on a Tapuino if I ever buy one on a C64. Well, he said hurry, move along, and then these arseholes turned up. Oh, apparently there's an episode of Chips where there's some robot with a C64 moulded into it. Now what? Well done. Dude! Press play on the tape. Okay. So we're on number three now and uh, off we go again. So yeah, they've chosen very bright colours which do look very garish. But if you had the uh, TV modulator and a decent TV, you could uh, mess about with the contrast and the brightness. April, why don't you help, innit? It's not like she's tied up or anything. 
She's just watching me getting uh, the shit beaten at me. Hey, wh why can't I rescue April? She's right there, mate. Oh man, stop firing at me, you bastard. There you go. I think this is the boss, dude. Collision detection is a bit difficult to sort out on this game for the jumps, that's the thing. So I've still got one credit, so we should be able to do another life. No, more multi load shit. Stop fucking shooting me, you bastard. I think I'm getting him. There we go. More loading. There we go again. It's coming out absolutely horrendous now on the camera because there's uh, a lot of bright colours going on. What is that on the floor? Can I get that? Not once have I got them with a jump attack. I blow up that barrel, uh, well, not blow it up, but knock it down. There's an insane number of people going on on the screen, but I'd say this is better than the C64 version. So I'm using up credits like a bastard. I've only got two lives left. Come here, you cunt. Maybe you're not meant to fall down the manhole. It's not the first Ninja Turtles game. Yeah, get the fuck out. So yeah, this is better actually. Getting about 50-60% of the uh, full screen going on. Other than that, it's okay. So I think this has got to go on the uh, top five list, actually, along with Golden Axe and uh, Ikari Warriors and Chase HQ. Now what? Alright, that's a bit rude. Them out quick time, mate. I think we just lost a life there. There's one to go, there you go. So I'm doing quite well, so it is very playable actually. Now speaking of Chase HQ, it's not that I don't like Chase HQ, I just get annoyed when uh, coders who don't know what the fuck they're doing waste CPU time. The frame rate could have been double on that, because they didn't use raster bars for the uh, scrolling effect on the road, even though there is stripes on the road. You know, they've got a checkerboard pattern on them, they did it. So that's a bit of a dumb way of doing it, which seems a bit stupid and it's a real shame. But it's still very playable, so Chase HQ makes it on the list. And on a real CPC with a real tape, it's nowhere near as annoying as uh, trying to load it with, like, you know, this sort of business. Here we go again! Let's turn the uh, actual tape mechanism off down to wear out the motor. I can't afford to buy any more CTCs, I really can't. I can't afford to buy any more stuff. <clears throat> Poor little Amy's uh, emergency uh, visit to the vets kind of wiped me out for a couple of years. And that includes the uh, money saved by not smoking. I mean, my tobacco expenditure for the year is probably at most 500 quid, so it's not really... But we won't be buying uh, another LCD TV and uh, 
I'm saying I've got one life left. I don't know if that's a spare life. Ooh, game over, sir. Game over. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's very good on the Amstrad. And, uh, if you can deal with the, uh, multi-load, which is, uh, we should be able to, uh, Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Let's uh, start that again once. Yeah, let's do a two player game, mate. There you go. I'll leave the camera going. Doesn't take too long for the multi loads to work. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to, so far, I'm sticking with uh, Ikari Warriors at number one because it isn't a multi-load. So for tape users, which most of us would have been back then, most people who had an Amstrad CPC back then in the UK, obviously I'm talking about, they would have been 464 users. That's like the bulk of people who are buying like a home computer to play games on at home would have had. Very few people would have bought a 664 or 6128, you know, as a rival to the C64. So, uh, uh, I won't be able to start it now, will I? So, well it has to keep drawing that other character on the screen, so, yeah, and there uh, didn't seem to be any real noticeable difference in the response, so, uh, yeah, uh, this definitely goes on the list, this is very nice. So, unattended loading, and, uh, oh, okay. He said, uh, stop the tape, rewind to side two. I didn't see if there was uh, oh, any loading screen or anything. Fuck you, Venus, please. Nah. I'm actually out of TV shows to watch. Again, I got all the way to uh, season seven, episode two. Of, uh, Game of Thrones, and I don't really want to watch it anymore. I'm getting fed up watching it. The trouble with Game of Thrones is, see, they had uh, Ramsay Bolton, who was a real cocksucker, a pantomime star overacting wanker in it for so many seasons, and they finally kill him off and they replace him with uh, Euron Greyjoy. Who's exactly the same thing? He can't act for shit. And, uh. We've got to be ready with a pause. Ready with a pause, sir. And, uh, he's going to be in it until season 8, episode 5. I don't like season 8. I don't like the ending of uh, Game of Thrones. I don't like the fact that that fucking Euron Greyjoy manages to kill one of the dragons. I don't like the fact that uh, the other dragon gets turned into, well, killed and then resurrected and used by, what's his name, the Night King. Oh, stop the tape. I have stopped the tape, mate. Stop the game. Let's go. I am ready. Whoa. Bullet time. Fuck it, this is atrocious program. Well, the music's alright. I really do not like the lack of response. It's playing at about maybe three frames per second. And that's not even what. I could understand if it was like while it was scrolling, but it's not, is it? It's just slow all the time. Alright, so, uh, ah, piss off me. Nah, I would not be happy with this. 
You see shit. Nah, this is terrible. Absolutely atrocious programming. Oh, fucking horrible. The only positive thing is the music's come out quite nice. If a little loud, but... Uh, I seem to have put a bit more CPU power into the um, into the bombs. Ah, oh, god damn it! I managed to get to the next. Ah, oh, fuck! All right, pause again. Well, the multi loads are very quick. I have to say that. So those are the only two positives, but none of them would make the game worth buying. And the Amstrad is fucking horrendous. Very, very slow. It's a little bit faster when there's no enemies on the screen, I think. Maybe it goes up to six frames a second. But as soon as you get some enemies on the screen, you start firing. It goes down to like two, three frames per second. It's a joke. It's a joke. You joke, surely you joke, sir. Surely you joke. Oh, I've got a little, uh, yeah, good, good. What do you mean, hurry up? You're going really fucking fast anyway. Look at me. I'm a genius. Fucking hell. It's a bit like emulating a uh, PS2 on a fucking PC that's way too slow for it. Which probably it would detect and not allow you to do it. Hey! What the fuck happened to my thing? You know what, because the loading levels are so short, I'll leave that going. But um, Now, the thing is, because of the slowdown, it's artificially easier as well. Because you get so much more reaction time. But nothing to do with the fact that I've got extra strong coffee. <coughs> Bloody hell, this. It's actually so it seems to be doing a multi-load whilst you're on the actual levels. Ah, piss off, mate. I can't remember, it's been ages since I played the C64 version. No, this is it's a disaster! That's the thing. For every, uh, you know, C64, Chase HQ versus, uh, you know, you see, Amstrad, you're going to get the exact opposite. I mean, the, the screen is fucking going off as well, on its own. Terrible, terrible fucking conversion. And why can't I go up any higher than that? You're going to burst my balloon, you bastard. That shouldn't be possible. So I can end up on top of the uh, like platform, but the balloon can end up under it. I'm trying not to fire to keep the speed up, but that's not how you play the game. Ooh, see? Bullet time. Here's a real bullet time game. I should have called it. Oh, actually, The Matrix wasn't out then. I don't know if I want to watch The Matrix ever again. Well, I suppose the fourth one wasn't that bad, so I could, but... I don't know. Starting to get a bit warm in the uh, projector room lately. See if he's if I fire the slowdown is so terrible I hate playing it. If I don't fire I lose a life and I can't play it. I wouldn't yeah, you know, choice choice. It would be my choice mate. Shit Plaga de la Galaxia yeah, Galactic Plague. Nah, obviously my mate did have this because it's uh, one of those uh, twelve pack games you get. Well, not all the uh, tapes in the 12-pack were game. Time Man 1, Hangman, 
Sanograms, I think there was Ham's word or some shit. Oh, fuck. In desk comp to the rescue. Uh, I've never played this since uh, those days, the 1984 days when, or 85, when my mate got his uh, Amstrad 464. Well, it's quite a hell of a pause there, so I might not have had to pause it. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, standard fare, but you know, this is 1984. These are the games that prick. Alan Sugar in 1984 just uh, he threw some uh, coins at some people and said write me some games or you're fired yeah, I don't like Alan Sugar mate because yeah okay Clive Sinclair Jack Tramiel uh, Steve Jobs they were all a bit of a cunt well, actually massive cunts really but uh, the other three out of those four, they knew about technology. Alan Sugar knows fuck all about technology. He repackages any old shit to uh, sell it to any price bracket he can possibly do. He's like uh, the owner of a pound plus shop who became a billionaire or whatever. That was always the thing. The funny thing is the CPC 464 by the miracle of genius coders who got round all the, uh, you know, the drawbacks of doing the, the 464 the way they did it. I'm talking about the hardware specs now. Uh, it probably is one of the best things Amstrad did. Amstrad Hi-Fi's were shit. Amstrad satellite boxes were the worst. I remember when I rang up Sky to say I needed another one because it stopped working. I said, make sure you don't send me an Amstrad one. Because the Amstrad one was the only one that had a fucking fan in it. There was uh, ones made by Pace, and I think Sharp or Sanyo made them, their own ones. They all looked the same. But you knew you got an Amstrad one, because the menus would lock up now and again, and it had a fucking fan on it. Which well, is not going to make much difference when you put it in a, a media cabinet anyway. It's still going to overheat. It was shit. So, uh... I think I left Sky after they uh, gave me an Amstrad satellite box. I was just like, ah, this is horrendous. Plus, you lose all the stuff that you recorded. It's not like someone takes a hard drive out, swaps it over and says, there you go, mate. So anyway, let's uh, get on with this. Never played it. One joystick, blah, 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 five. Let's have a go, sir. so well there. It's kind of like Arcadia. What's all this shit staying on the screen? Shit staying on the screen. But it's not as bad as I thought it'd be actually. Is it better than uh, Astro Wars? That is the acid test. For early games of this ilk. Oh, fucking hell. How am I going to have uh, bollocks? That's my fault though. The, the controls are responsive enough. I think. I would say. I would say the controls are not horrendous. It's not like uh, Cosmiads on the Vic 20. Which is a game I had. Let's have a few more goes here. Right there, Aslan. What are you doing, buddy? It is you, isn't it? I have to take out these assholes at the top so you don't get blasted by the fucking bullets, isn't it? Yeah, oh no, I've got to do the whole fucking lot again. Ah, it's, very, it's fiendishly difficult. Oh yeah, it was Mooncrester that I couldn't get to uh, load because the lens lock business. There's no unprotected version without the fucking, fucking... Ah, Jesus Christ, the fucking annoying bastard. Just come over here, you cunt. 
sound effects are so loud your parents would be slapping you if you were playing this with a keyboard. Oh, there's a bit of slowdown when you've got everything on the screen. But, uh, you can deal with it. Did I get an extra life or something? The scores are very mean. How long do they expect me to play? But the, the levels are very same. Look, you've got exactly the same formation and uh, attack. Okay, I don't know if there's a Galaxian game that's worth a shit on the uh, CPC. There isn't one on the C64, but uh, for a free game, it's all right, I suppose. Uh, you did get it free with a computer, but it's nowhere near as fun as things like Roland on the Ropes or uh, Oh Mummy. Well, actually, we've got to try Harry Attack. Right, Harry Attack next. So this is a full screen game, this is a second tape image I had to try. I tried the original release version, uh, it didn't work, it had a read error apparently. don't know how you get that, uh, standard uh, Amstrad loader. And uh, so I downloaded the uh, free given away in brackets version, which should be exactly the same. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> Wow, that is not fast at all. Let's be straight. This is a shit game. Uh, I don't mean this specific guys. I mean Harry Attack is not a brilliant game. It's not bad, especially on the uh, spectrum. But uh, it's relatively fast on the spectrum. On the C64, it's incredibly fast, which is what makes it so bloody difficult isn't it? but here again we've got the old bullet time business going on oh, actually when you move your missiles move up and down with you so i can't take them out it, nothing touched me i don't like this version so they are using the full 320 by 200 what the hell uh, I don't think they finished programming this. Uh, I think they these bastards should change the Sir Lord of the Universe, Alan Sugar. I think that's what we have to call him. I don't fucking know, mate. I fucking jumped up, cunts. I don't like Alan Sugar because of his comments about COVID. Considering that uh, TMR of Cosine died from COVID after an 18 month battle, he can fuck off. Now, back to this game. So, the problem with this game is it should be a fast arcade game. And it isn't. Not on the outside, it's just too slow. It, uh, if you haven't seen the other versions, maybe you think, yeah, that's alright, but... Uh, you know, this, this machine did cost as much as a C64. Let's, let's not fuck about here. You could easily have bought an 80 pound colour TV and use your C64 on it instead of a colour Amstrad CPC. There's, right, okay, XXX, that's what I think of this game. Fuck! Next. I don't know if uh, Xevious, Xevious, that's how you pronounce it. Never mind what the Japanese think, they don't know. Uh, if it was released on the BBC Micro, because if it was, this would be the fucking loading screen. Okay, it's now loaded. It is the full screen, but the uh, the panel, status panel on the side, takes up uh, 33% of the screen there. Yeah. Hey, uh, where's the joystick on? There we go. Two for a one-player game. Now, uh, apparently, this said uh, this is a trained tape image copy, so... I think it is actually, uh, mode zero. Well, the scrolling is absolutely fine on it. The screen is a bit small. But it's, uh... Because there is no slowdown so far, it is better than the Z64 version. You just have to play it on a 28-inch CRT, that's all. 
Up in the night, it's fine. Yeah, I quite like it actually. I used to play Uxevius in the uh, ABC cinema in the infield camp. While well, they had it there. And that was sort of like 1985, so it was a bit long in the tooth, but what are you going to do, man? Yeah, I quite, I quite like this version, I have to say. It's, uh, this is a win for the Amstrad over the Commodore. The C64 version is fucking horrible, mate. And the C64 version should have a complete overhaul uh, and be done in uh, character based uh, with colour RAM uh, high res mode. I don't think you'd be able to do it in uh, bitmap mode. That's, uh, well, I don't know why. If you just copy uh, 8x8 blocks, uh, you know same way as you would with uh, characters, it doesn't really make any difference, I don't know mate, I, honestly I've, I've never done bitmap mode uh, programming on the, in machine code on the C6, I can't comment on that, but no, this is nice, I do like it actually, now uh, it says it's a train copy, but I don't believe I've actually taken a hit yet, I'm not taking one for the team, no thank you mate, no fat birds, thank you. No slags either. I don't do the slags, thank you. I used to call them uh, swapper cock slags. You know what I mean? The, the kind of women who'd go to the pub and uh, have a sex with a different guy every week after picking them up at the uh, pub. I couldn't stand that horse shit in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I really couldn't. Well, possibly because I didn't fancy getting AIDS. Maybe if you wanted to get AIDS. You know, call me picky, but I don't think getting AIDS is a fair price for uh, having sex. So yeah, we're doing all right. It's supposed to be a train version, but so far I don't believe I've actually been uh, shot down anyway. So. I'm playing it a bit of a funny angle. I wish the little cursor wouldn't disappear while the bombs are going. Other than that, that's pretty nice. So if you don't mind the size of the screen and the titchy graphics that come with that, that's fine. Let's see if we can lose a the life then. No, we can't actually. Unfortunately for you, the camera warning uh, for the batteries uh, flashing there on the uh, LCD, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll just keep playing this uh, until a bit later. There is a mothership, I believe, at the end of like the screen. I had Xevious on the um, on the Atari ST actually, and that's not bad. You expect it to be really horrible because it's got software scrolling, but uh, just like the Amstrad, not bad. And I think next time I charge up the camera, I might have a, an attempt at a slice by a secret agent. That is, uh, that's got to be in the top five Amstrad games as well. I can deal with the lack of music, mate, because, uh, you know, music on arcade games is pretty shit anyway. So. Yeah, you get the plinky plonk noise from them. Now, obviously the CPC is suffering here because it's only got one shade of grey. And you do need more than one. I don't care what you say, you do need more than one. Even for arcade conversions, which generally are sort of like garish colours for things like Gallagher and Gyro, you do still need it. It's not just for the later... 16-bit stuff. I'll oh, just fuck off all you, you cocksucker, with your shit music and your expensive loud stereo, which is distorting. Mm. If 
the lottery wasn't such a complete load of bollocks, I probably would uh, play it because I need to move, mate. I don't mind living near poor people, but I don't like fucking scum class, mate, who are usually working anyway. And they're not usually poor because they usually do a bit of drug dealing on the side or some other dodgy shit. Or they might be uh, plumbers or electricians. They get far too much money. So yeah, I suppose you could say it gets a bit samey. But at uh, the end of the day, it is devious. And the scrolling is not bad. Um, sound effects are fine. Graphics are okay if a bit small. Uh, but it's, re it's really just the size of the screen you could complain about. And knowing what we know that uh, on the CPC you define your own borders on many games, even back then, in the uh, mid 80s, they, they could have actually had like a 256 pixel high, very narrow screen. So yeah, I would have lost another life there, I'm sure. So I definitely wouldn't have made it past here. So it is getting a bit tough now, I guess. But no, I think it's fine. I think the C64 version is shit. The VCS version is shit. Uh, I think I think the Atari uh, home computer versions are rubbish. I mean the 8-bit computers. Atari 800, etc. I can't remember. But the C64 version looks like a fucking... Uh, a whole load of digital puke on your screen. And they're not even using the uh, puke green colour that I don't like, so it's weird. Yeah, I don't think we've had any slowdown or anything. So yeah, no, this is good. It's definitely uh, one for the Amstrad. Would I put it in the top five? Nah, no. Because, you know, the original arcade game is not worthy of going in any of my top five, so... Yeah, nah, we'll, we'll try a few other things uh, a bit later. Slice by his neck, but uh, I think you've seen enough. I don't think I could be bothered to get to the uh, mothership. There's a bloody mothership turned up as soon as I press the button. Oh, what bastard. No! I have to press record on the camera again, innit? Ah, right, well, you've seen the mothership and you do get slowed down on the mothership. But that's the only time, so this is a good game. I don't know why the camera moved just there. What's going on? Anyway, this is a uh, Gala chip by Chip Software. I'll let you guess what uh, classic arcade game this is knocking off by Chip Software. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, we'll keep this running for now. No, this is not going to come out great. Uh, it looks like someone's been rubbing grease all over the uh, monitor screen. Zeus does his uh, dog, Snoopy, had some sort of operation, bless him. Uh, I just uh, watched the video. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's only a short video, but uh, I hope he gets well. Snoopy's really the, the star of that channel. No, Zeus Dad is all right. Kind of reminded me when I brought Amy back from the hospital, and uh, she barely had the energy to stand up by herself, so I had to hold her up gently from her chest because obviously she had operation on her tummy, uh, just so she could uh, drink and climb over the, uh, you know, the side of the litter tray. Bless her. It's a horrible thing, actually. Yeah, uh, I think you just press fire to start, actually. So, uh, there was another Galaxian uh, clone called, uh, I think it's Alien Attack, but that doesn't actually have a tape image. Uh, don't ask me why, it's not like a modern homebrew or anything. And uh, it just turned out too complicated to try and create my own tape image. Uh, I can barely remember how to uh, do a directory on a disc 
on the, on the Amstrad. Look, mate, it's only so much I can squeeze in. Other more useful shit gets pushed out. So uh, we have to play Galachip, which is possibly the second best version. I haven't found a better version than this, apart from Alien Attack. But we can't play Alien Attack, so uh, there you go. So it's not quite exactly the same as Galaxian, but uh, there's no slowdown. Your ship isn't stupidly large. They do come down a bit faster than the real arcade machines. And uh, unlike the C64, which you cannot remove the borders for the uh, background graphics, no one's ever shown me how that's done. You can put sprites in the border. Uh, they didn't do the thing on the Amstrad where they can uh, change the size of the screen and, and make a very tall screen. So this suffers like most home conversions of uh, Galaxian, even on the mighty uh, Famicom, because uh, that's only 256 by, is it 224 pixels I think, or is it 192? I'm getting confused now with the Mega Drive and the SNES and all that. Uh, but other than that, it's, uh, it's fine. Xerons or Xerons, as you pronounce it in my country, in my country, uh, is the only decent um, Galaxian knockoff on the uh, C64 that I would ever bother to load up. Uh, obviously, there's a homebrew version, but uh, anyway, I'm talking about back then. So this is foreign, so I don't believe it is the same as Mr. Chip software. But um, this is uh, this is as good as the Atari 800 400 version of Galaxian. So it was on cartridge, obviously a lot cheaper, but I don't think it was for sale in the UK. The sound effects are nice, the speed is good, uh, everything moves smoothly. It's nice, and you even got a star field on the on the background, which is actually smooth, smoothly scrolling as well. I use the word scrolly very guardedly because uh, it's not actually scrolling, really. but you know, it doesn't really matter whether it's faking the scroll. I faked it once. You know that, didn't you? You know, sometimes when it's enough already, and you just want to get something. How can a man fake it mad? Well, if you're wearing a condom, you just don't let the woman see the condom, is it? It's like, yeah, I'm done now. And you just take the condom off and uh, <laughs> put it in the bin and uh, go to sleep. She had a fantastic body, but boy, was her face ugly. And uh, I don't think uh, shoving all that shit on her hair actually helped. Yeah, well, you know it's me, mate. So, uh, that's that one. And, uh, we're going to try something else now. But, uh, no, that's really good. So, on the C64 versus, uh, you know, Amstrad scale, there is a couple of games on the Amstrad which, unbelievably, uh, you can play on the Atari and the Amstrad, but you wouldn't want to play on the C64. Galaxian is one of them. So, uh, let's see what other shit we can find to play. Ever wondered what the uh, loading screen for Nemesis would look like on a BBC Micro? Here we go again! A fucking... What is it with Mode 1? Whoever designed Mode 1 and put it in the fucking Amstrad CPC, they should have fucking uh, told all the developers, Look, mate! Not to be used unless you're writing a word processor or a wireframe game. Never for loading screen. Look how shit that is. Fuck it, the MSX1, not MSX2, the MSX1 title page loading screen, all that comes on cartridges, looks much better than this. There is a problem with the MSX game now. And no one has really answered this for me. Why is it that you can have half decent scrolling, you know, when they're, they're, you get half decent programmers involved, on the Amstrad, and yet on the MSX, it's always a fucking character scroll. Why is that? You know, they put all that shit in the cartridges, like, you know, extra sound chips and all this bullshit, 
So why can't the slightly slower Z80? I think it's only uh, 0.5 megahertz slower than the Amstrad. Why can't they scroll the screen on uh, Nemesis on the uh, MSX? He's shit. He looks absolutely shit. Ah oh, look, Amy. All right, Amy, you want to be involved in the camera? Come on, then. Huh? Come on. Hey, why are you biting me for you, little dick? What's that all about, huh? Hmm. Yes. Anyway, there's the uh, shit loading screen. And uh, this time, I see you've got green, turquoise, blue and black. Yeah, that's a uh, fucking BBC Micro wank. The sound chip is just too loud for the shit speaker that cunt Alan Sugar put in it. Put a bit bigger speaker in there, you fucking cheap bastard. Jonesy, what are you doing? He's agreeing with me. Yeah, half of it is uh, quite well done. Uh, but yeah, like one of the sound channels sounds like it's playing the wrong notes. Very hard to tell. The bit that goes do 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 that was really annoying me. Alright, well, uh, hang on a minute. We can have one quick go. Because I've got the sausages in the oven. I have to be careful, innit? Woo! The bloody hell, this is going to be a tough one. How'd you do that? Fucking hell, that was with no speed up. I don't know how you do the uh, thing, is it enter? I don't want speed up obviously. Alright, it is enter, alright, okay. So this is like a trial run. Look how fast it moves when there's nothing on the screen. That's going to be like a bit iffy for me. I want double. Straight for the uh, multiple for me, thank you. Oh man, we missed it. Yeah. This is one of those games where you need one of those tabletop joysticks. Can't really, unless there's auto fire built in. Okay, it's a bit weird how it happens, but uh, anyway. Wow, you get a lot of slowdown, but uh, the scrolling is still better than the MSX version. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, he's gonna get fucking uh, car carpal tunnel syndrome bullshit or whatever it's called. Okay, am I gonna fucking do this like that? Well, I'm not, am I, obviously. I think we can have another go. I think there's another five minutes or so for the sausages. And they're a bit underdone on the other side, so. Ah, god damn it. See how fast it moves up and down the screen? It do not make any sense. Bad lasers this time. Yeah. So the lasers are nice, but they cause a bit of slowdown possibly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need the missiles, I reckon. But I'm gonna go for a multiple first. Ah, oh, god damn it! I need one more to get the multiple. I ain't got any missiles or nothing. Nothing, mate. So the, the slowdown is, yeah, see, on the arcade you get slowdown, but it is actually intentional. So, yeah, I 
think the inconsistency really fucks you up in this game. Now obviously I'm very harsh on uh, Nemesis because Nemesis was my favourite game of 1986. I spent all summer playing it and I keep losing a life there. The collision detection seems very bastardish. See what I mean? It's like... Fucking hell, what's going on with the slowdown, man? It's too much slowdown. Perhaps they should have fucking given up on these uh, stupid stars in the background and uh, used a bit more CPU for everything else. Oh, fucking hell. So, okay, we're gonna have to use like missiles and double shot, I reckon, and then multiples. It takes a while for your shots to appear as well, which does not help me in this one. Look how fast their fucking shots are going. Hasn't given me any extra fucking multiples or nothing yet. One more go, go on. We might even get this review done and dusted. Well, not with uh, gameplay like that. And I had to download the uh, two... Uh, fucking hell, what's going on? I haven't got any speed up. Look, it's still green. It's not like I'm ac accidentally uh, activating the uh, speed up. Oh, shit, I forgot that if you do this... Ah, crap. Okay, you've got to get them in the right order. Missile, we're gonna need that. Fucking hell. Fucking hell with a slow down, you cocksuckers. Nah! Frustrating. Very frustrating. If you love Nemesis, you will hate this game. And if you don't, then uh, you're not really bothered about Nemesis. It's just another good shoot em up from the time. But for me, Nemesis or Gradius, whatever you want to call it, is my favourite shoot em up of 1986. I used to come home from playing it in the, uh, well, not the arcade, but I was playing the arcade game in the uh, market, outside the sweet shop of all places, and uh, I used to draw the graphics on my 1986 Atari ST that I got, also in the summer of 86, uh, on Neochrome. I've done all sorts of sprites, and then when I got Stoss, the first thing I did was uh, I tried to write a little routine uh, to do some scrolling. I was like, this is fucked. <laughs> so, so we're going to need doubles. And missiles, that's the thing. For some reason you get a lot of slowdown when you have the double. So now I'm fucked, I ain't got any missiles. I need a multiple. Right, so we're gonna have to get the uh, missile after the multiple and uh, and then the double. So now remember I would never play Nemesis with these weapons. I don't care if this is what you're supposed to do, but it's a shit conversion if I can't use these weapons. And look, I'm not getting any fucking power-ups or anything. You would have got something by now. But I don't get... Yeah, okay. Ah! Now, the problem with Nemesis has always been uh, the power-ups. If you lose your power-ups right now... Look how fast you move. This is like now... And then it slows down a little bit, and then a few things come on the screen, and it's fucking, uh... Lion's Golden Syrup in a tin, or molasses for you Americans. So you might as well just lose all your lives, really, yeah. It's like sausage time! So, my verdict on Nemesis for the Amstrad. As someone who is, uh, both the world's biggest fan of Nemesis, and a technical expert on everything to do with 8 bits. Except consoles I don't give a shit about. Uh, well, let me put it this way. Nemesis. 
Let me see. They're showing you time I'll be fucking loading it. Sly Spy, secret agent. Uh, I did actually uh, check out the uh, tape image on the emulator to make sure it's not one of them stupid fucking multi loads. Well, stupid if you're trying to load tape images using a cassette adapter. Um, and uh, yes, it is. It's got that stupid uh, piracy, is theft, bullshit. Well, it's not actually theft. Theft is when you are going to WH Smith's and you uh, pick up a, a sealed copy of Sly Spy, put it in your pocket and walk out without paying for it. That's theft. Because you get something for nothing. It's partial theft, maybe, but not actually piracy. Piracy is when you take a physical object, mate. Ooh, actually, better pause that there because he's, uh, he's turned the uh, tape motor off. There you go. And this shit annoys me, because, uh, you know, if every game, well, graphically in the case of this one, was programmed like this, there would be a lot less piracy, mate, especially on the Amiga. So, uh, yeah, that don't really do it for me. But technically, it cannot be theft, because uh, if you have... Uh, a virtual digital representation of a physical object then uh, it's not actually you not it's not like you're 3d printing the cassette and uh, you know printing the uh, labels and the cassette inlay and then writing the uh, data to the cassette that would be theft so you know Software houses have only got themselves to blame because uh, they, they sold the cassettes for peanuts and uh, they gave like two quid per cassette to the actual distributor, the box shifting cocksuckers as I like to call them. They ain't got a fucking clue what they were doing. Uh, so, you know, I can't remember what they're called but um, at least we ain't got a BBC Micro fucking loading screen. It's actually quite a nice loading screen on this. I can't say I've ever loaded the uh, you know the tap file the tape image file for the C64 version so I wouldn't know what the loading screen is like but it's going to be an interesting one because uh, you know for different reasons completely different reasons actually this game is not quite It'll never be 10 out of 10 on either the C64 or the Amstrad. And certainly not on the Amiga or the ST. But the Amiga version looks like something I could knock up in Blitz Basic, mate. Yes! Why am I not turning the camera off anymore? Because it's uh, fucking annoying stitching all the files together. And uh, sometimes I need to delete like one of those, uh, you know... 12 kilobyte files that is like uh, you know a 10 second bit of video and uh, when you look at the files on the camera for some reason it can't tell you how long they are but if you copy them to your hard drive exactly the same MOV files it will tell you how long each video file is it's really annoying actually so you have to go by the size of the file and uh, yeah anyway you don't hear about that but uh, no my point is if every C64 game was programmed by someone as talented as uh, Manfred Trenz, who wrote Catechism, then uh, all C64 games would be like uh, more like this version than the one that come out. Although it's not bad, uh, sliced by, I'd, I'd say on the C64 it is probably uh, 857 out of a thousand using my advanced uh, you know scientific formula for reviewing games like Ace Magazine yeah that was bollocks wasn't it yeah eight and a half out of ten mate 
they're not quite 9 out of 10 because they're not doing enough tricks or anything like Manfred Trends could do. Ocean's coding cock is uh, not very big or whoever did uh, the C64 version. There was a game that Ocean did in... Oh yeah, it was Chase HQ. Why didn't Ocean do uh, the C64 version of Chase HQ in-house? Why did they farm it out? And why did they actually not put in the contract that if you uh, if you produce a digital shit on the uh, you know on the disc and send it to us, you will not be getting paid? Yeah, that's their problem, mate. But uh, yeah, turn tape over and press any key. Right, here we go, right. Now uh, to select joystick. Make sure we press two there and fire to play. Now uh, I don't know what this business means. Uh, it's not cracked or anything. Now you'll notice something very interesting. The screen has shrunk again. Oh mummy! You put the screen in a hot wash and it shrunk! Yeah. See that's what I'm saying about uh, all the Galaxian games. Tape error. Tape error! I don't like that. I've had this with a few tapes that I've downloaded. Now, this is the one that came in the archive. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Live fixing of. Uh, let's just stop that a minute. Let's try this file on uh, VLC. Actually, no, you know what? Let me just go back here and uh, download it again. You'll have to wait a few seconds. Trust me, it's worth it on this game. I don't think the L key works. I think that's a slight problem. This CPC Power website is so annoying. When you do a search, it puts you on a fucking text box. Fucking uh, French bastards. Cheesy in surrender monkey cunts. Okay, tape images. Oh look. So what's this one then? Sliced by you get right. So this is the original. I oh, is a Spanish retail version, but it says UK, so uh, I should download this one for a start. Oh, actually, let's look at the file sizes. They're almost exactly the same. Oh, this is 185k. No wonder it's fucked. Right, okay, so uh, let's download that. 3, 2, 1, you're under. Oh, bollocks. So we need K, F, N, G. I've saved the L in the uh, clipboard there. So we're lucky. There's about four or five keys that don't work on this keyboard and had a chance to see if I can replace it with one from an older Dell Latitude. They may not be compatible. But I've got loads of Dell Latitudes kicking about. Because I used to sell laptops. As if he didn't know that. Of course you knew that, mate. Okie dokie. Right, let's go up a directory. Go CDT Web. Fuck is it? It's right here. Where the fuck is it? 
it go and be right down the bottom, wouldn't it? No. What was the fucking file called? Secret agent, right? There we go. Ah, fucking bullshit. Let's see if this works. I haven't done anything, ain't moved the tape or anything like that. Uh, it worked fine. Well, this tape image did. It worked fine on. Uh, I come on already, mate. Worked fine on the. Uh, what was it called? Win Ape. That thing. The emulator. problems with this. Might have to try the Spanish version. Because I don't know which version they've stuck in the archive. There's only one version that doesn't say. Again with a tape error. What a bastard. Okay, we're gonna have to download the Spanish version now. Which uh, may not be compatible. So we've got three fucking versions now. Because the one in the archive is 185k. Okay, we go. Uh, y F B. Okay, stupid code. Does it say Spain? Yeah, it does say Spain. In there, I think. Worst comes to worst, I'm going to have to uh, play it on VLC. Haven't changed anything, it's still at 44 kilohertz playback. Not really sure what's going on here. Again with a tape here. Alright, okay. Alright, buddy. Penny wants more kittens, but uh, I'm going to have to say no to that one, buddy. Right, this is uh, boosted on the volume with VLC now. Let's see if this fucking works. It's going to be highly annoying if I can't get this game to work. Again with a tape, this is fucking bullshit mate. Okay, I'm gonna, there's not much else I can do, it is, uh, the volume is still at full volume. Still full volume, right. What a bastard fucking thing. Ramp that right up, ramp up the uh, middle area as well. Fuck you, you're gonna load it if you like it or not, mate. I can't have you not loading, you bastard. Uh, up to 6 kilohertz, there we go. Uh, right, let's go. my fucking sausages. How long have they been in there? Oh, bollocks. Right, no, no slice by f It might actually load now. What oh, a fucking night. This is a shit way of playing games on real hardware using emulator clock. Shit! That is the only way. Man, I have 
to get ready with the uh, pause button there, isn't it? Let's go, come again. So it's actually no worse than the uh, ST version for the scrolling and slowdown, which is pretty good considering uh, the Amstrad's only got a crappy Z80 processor and uh, it's still got like 16K of uh, screen memory. Yeah, screen size is not bad. It probably is uh, two thirds, three quarters of the size of the screen. It is quite a large screen. You won't complain about that. So. There's no sound at all. That is a weird thing with this game. And if you can live with that, uh, it's absolutely fine. Uh, if that annoys you, then well, you know. But I don't think it would actually stop anyone playing the game. It's weird. It's like, uh, oh man, I thought the deadline was for December. No, it's November the 3rd. Oh shit, I ain't done any of the sand routines at all. That's probably, oh no. Okay, we're going to have to go up to a four, I think. All I did was press pause because I thought it actually started. Because level 3 is the one that I really wanted to show you. It's the most impressive. Level 2 looks really good too, but level 3 is the one. And I don't like the multi-load system on this. It means uh, it's a horrendously fast loader. And I paused it while it was silent. So I've no idea why it came up with an error. Maybe Windows had a little burp and it sent a little like <coughs> kind of noise through this. No, I don't know, mate. I really don't know. I didn't write this shit. Whether you use this or something like VLC to load games, it doesn't really make any real difference. Well, I'm not sure what the auto pause does. Yeah, so I'm not going to pause the tape until... I actually have to remember now that, well, we're on six at the moment. So it's got to be seven. Right, here we go. So, uh, that's nice. Nice and smooth, fast dickens. The scrolling is, uh, is okay. It's acceptable. It's not a miracle, it's not justification for not, uh, you know, fiddling with the uh, YMAY routines at all, you know, for no sound at all, it is very weird. Game over, it's alright, you get credits. I've still got a credit to use. There we go. You don't get unlimited bullets, so you've got to be careful. So, but the graphics are really nice, and uh, the scrolling is is okay. All right, okay, I believe it's number seven we want. Now I can't actually pause it anymore, but um, I don't like the fourth stage after the multi-load. That's the thing. So the next stage is the driving one. So the graphics are very nice, they're very colourful. They move okay. It's, 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 not, it's not the smoothest scrolling I've ever seen on the Amstrad game. That would probably be like X out or something like that. I can't remember actually. Horizontal scrolling I'm talking about here. But uh, I'm glad I got it loaded. It is a game that you would actually sit and uh, try and complete in utter silence. But uh, I don't think the uh, the C64 version is anything special.
So it's the C64 game is from a time when, uh, you know, Rob Parbard had fucked off. Jerome Tell and David Whittaker were doing wicked things on the Amiga. Like Shadow of the Beast, Menace. Uh, Jerome Tell did the uh, excellent music for uh, Agony. I believe that's number nine we want there, so. Yeah, go! So I don't know if I'll get to the uh, uh, the next level, but uh, yeah, it is very colourful, totally silent, and the scrolling is acceptable. It is not a miracle, it's not like, wow, how did they do that? You can see how they did it, because the scrolling does jerk sometimes on real hardware. This is not a Windows-related issue. Why can't I shoot them bastards? I like the graphics of your biker, though. So if you want a silent version with slightly, slightly jerky scrolling, but perfectly acceptable jerky scrolling, uh, and uh, slight amounts of slowdown, but no sound at all, then you should play the uh, Amstrad version. If not, but it's probably that prick Jonathan Dunn or someone, Tim Folin, you know, the losers from the late era of Sid thing. They'll never match people like... Uh, Jerome Kimmel and uh, Russell Lieblick and if you think they will, well you just fucking tone deaf me and I'm glad we got that one out of the way but maybe on the Amstrad, Kim Folin and uh, Jonathan Dunn they're more, they're more respected because, uh, well, Hubbard didn't write any well, Mrs Hubbard wrote all the tunes actually for the Amstrad Rob Hubbard didn't write fuck all for the Amstrad his wife converted all the uh, tunes well, we're not doing so well there, so... I believe that is completely game over, we have no more credits, and we have to rewind in it. But yeah, that is, um, that is a very good game. Um, would I put that in my... Look, look, it said music by Jeff Folin, you, you just saw that, right? <laughs> what fucking music? I don't understand, it, it's not like... Look... It says music by Jeff Foley. It's not Tim Foley, it's Jeff Foley. Is Jeff Foley completely deaf? Ah, oh, fuck my sausages. Fuck, how long is a fucking uh, the tape lead? Get on with it, you cocksucker. Whoever fucking made some of these tapes is a real fucking wanker, you know that? Yeah, you should be grateful for it. I'll be grateful for what I want. Shut up, mate. Fucking prince. If you're going to do something, do it fucking properly, mate. It's a bit like all the uh, so-called SD to IEC collections. They're all wankered anyway. They're either missing all the tape games, the games that are, uh, you know, tape images on uh, the Game Base Archive, well, they don't fucking work because they haven't been tested anyway. But I'm going to be playing Robocop. And, uh... It obviously has the music by Jonathan Dunn. Oh, hang on a minute. Luckily, the pause is long enough there. I'll let you off with that one. And, uh... Yeah, people go... Oh, no, it's the same shit loader by Ocean. Piracy message. Now the interesting thing is, yes, I can't actually remember. Okay, it's a BBC Micro loading screen. I don't know why they did just use the uh, the C64 loading screen, which has a a brilliant rendition of uh, Peter Weller's lips. And that's really what it comes down to. It doesn't look like Peter Willard's lips, it looks like fucking Aya Stark taking uh, a cock up the arse from uh, the mountain, really, if I'm honest. Yeah, she's a strong girl, isn't it? What do you expect? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm done with that uh, Game of Thrones shit. But no, the interesting thing is, no matter how good the music may be on the Amstrad version, and this applies 
to games also on the Acorn Electron, BBC Micro, Sharp MZ. I don't know if there's any other ones. There are a few others. Auric. Because uh, they only output the sound from the shit speaker. And the speaker inside the Amstrad is one of the most shit speakers that money can buy. It's the cheapest, it's the smallest, it's the lowest quality. Sounded like a scene there from Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Richard Roxburgh! So, you know, I do think a few people on YouTube have mentioned that they used to have uh, their Amstrads connected to a hi-fi, you know, like with the uh, mini jack to uh, double phono connectors or something. I think I think John Gage did mention that on one of his videos or one of his comments somewhere. I might be wrong, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter how good the music is on the Amstrad. Even if you have the TV modulator, you're still going to be hearing that excellent, amazing uh, AY, what is it YM, uh, music coming out of the shit speaker. It's horrible. It's like the speaker you'd get built into one of those uh, Boots or W. H. Smiths or Dixon's uh, cassette decks that, uh, yeah, you know, people with uh, the old ZX Spectrum would use. You know, the rubber key things where you have to have like external, it's, they're fucking horrible. So it does, it's immaterial. And the same thing goes for the Game Boy. Has anyone ever used the Game Boy with, uh, you know, a lead connecting the Game Boy to a hi fi? No! So the only way to hear that music in that sort of quality is actually on the Ariston advert. So yeah, you cunt on a certain. Uh, computer forum that didn't have a version of well actually it did did have a version of Robocop you know what I'm going to have to look up on YouTube what it sounds like on that particular machine yeah why did I forget that that was anyway he's a knob but yeah I really need to uh, sort out that cable um I'm not sure which side the actual uh, headphones thing is. I don't know if it's on on the side with the joint. If it is, that could be a problem. Uh, nah, the cable might just reach. I've only got like a one and a half meter uh, audio cable, and I'm not sure it works. That's the other thing. Because I seem to remember having to uh, buy another one off eBay. Again with a fucking pause. Hurry up, mate. The pauses are really long on the tape. Like I said, this is a shit way of playing emulator files on your computer. Really shit. So this does actually say found block one. So it's going to be a bit of a problem because uh, if we don't pause it at the right time, we won't be able to uh, load any more. So we better get rid of the fucking pause button, mate. There is no side B on the tape images. It is a single tape image for this. And we're like two thirds of the way through, just over half, between half and two thirds, I reckon. You know, I thought this was Windows XP Pro. No, this must be XP Home Edition. No, it's got to be Pro. So why are they green? Why are those little uh, LED bars green? That's for XP Home Pro had blue ones. All oh, right, so I press pause, and now it's going to be fucked up. Yeah, great. Yeah, I have stopped the tape. What do you want me to do now, mate? See what I mean? You have to have the volume less than halfway so it doesn't distort. 
and there's a bit of slowdown on the uh, routine to play the music when it changes the screen. There you go, it glitches up. So hopefully you can actually download the music file from somewhere and play it on a AYYM music player. Anyway. Magic! Hang on. Why can't I shoot the bastards? How many shots does it take to kill them? Because my ammo is not unlimited. So, it's another one of those games which is uh, unusually good for the Amstrad because the scrolling is quite nice. The scrolling is just as good as Sly Spy, if not better. I think it is a little bit better, actually. And uh, there is sound. And I've run out of fucking bullets now. Oh, that was energy. Okay. Okay, this is shit. This is what I don't like about this game. Why is it my bullets limited? Leave the fucking realism outside, mate. So you've got to lose a life just to get some more fucking bullets. See, how many shots does it fucking take? That's bullshit, mate. Got some more ammo. I think that was ammo. Fuck off, will you, mate? Yeah, it seems to die a lot more than uh, in the movie. Seems to be a bit of a delicate cocksucker, as I like to call him. That's not a compliment, mate. I'm not referencing uh, Party Hardcore 37 or anything. That's the best one. If you're going to watch any of them, that's the best. Look out for the blonde about an hour into it, she's brilliant. Of course I used to watch Paul Nose, mate. What bloke didn't? I don't watch him anymore. Can you not shoot him while you... You can shoot him when you're down. Kneeling down. Kneeling down to the sand of the underground. Because I'm trying to save bullets, I'm taking too many fucking hits. It's a no-win situation. So now we have to fucking go crazy with the fucking bullets. Because we're running out of energy and there's no baby food in sight, mate. Have I got like a power-up? For my gun or something? There you go, that's energy. So we're going to need a fuck off, mate. waste of time. So I am playing all these games with no cheats, so uh, yeah. You know. What you want, a fucking sweetie? No, I don't want a sweetie. I've got plenty, thank you. I went to uh, the food warehouse. No membership required. Oh, if that blood from uh, Party Hardcore worked in there. And... We're talking about when I did used to watch that kind of shit. Now, I might have uh, talked to her. Actually. Do I lose a life? Ah, bollocks, mate. That is very impressive, actually, I must admit. So, uh, there is no actual excuse for why Slice Bite has got no sound at all. It is literally. You know, look up, open your mouth, and let Gary Bracey do a big smelly shit in your mouth, mate. My sausage is... So I'm going to be checking out Boy Racer. I don't know if the screen is going to be this big when it loads. But a uh, nice loading screen, anyway. Here we go, here we go. Excessively loud music, bright colours. We must be on the Amstrad. You said press fire. OK, 
okay, this is not good. Right, I pressed the fire button because it said press fire. And uh, now what, mate? So how do I fucking uh, accelerate and shit? So that does that. Oh fucking, oh fucking hell, hurry up mate. Now back later if I can be fucking bothered. Things are happening. So they've gone with a very ambitious massive screen, well, C64 size screen. Uh, and so the scrolling suffers. The scrolling is about one and a half frames per second on average. So luckily your movement is at least five frames per second. How do I get me to play a two from playing? Really badly designed menu this is me. That's just go, go for it. Just put your foot down and go for it, innit? So the graphics are nice, but they're not fast enough for an arcade style game. So in fact, they're quite atrocious, really. It appears that I have energy rather than uh, life. So it looks nice. The music is okay actually, it's not bad. Great, it's a memory game on top of everything else. And you know how much Mad Commodore loves their memory games, isn't it? Turbo Charge is so great because it has the memory thing going on. Oh man, I keep forgetting that I can actually fire, but it takes a lot of shots to take them out sometimes. Stop crashing into me, man. We got a terrorist attack. Oh, fuck me. So if you go on the uh, gravel, you die straight away, so that's a terrible game. Next driving game. Well, that's a loading screen to, uh, what's this one called? Fire Tire. This is a 2020 uh, game, which uh, luckily they also released a, a cassette image for. So, losers like me with a cassette adapter and a, a 20 pound laptop can uh, attempt to play it on real hardware. I can't remember what seed tune this is now. Yeah, due to the uh, incredibly naff speaker inside. Anyway. Just can't remember the game this comes for. Anyway, let's uh, give it a go. He's going to flicker because of the white, honestly. Yeah, the frame rate is not very good. Roadside objects. Ah, your car moves really slowly, actually. This is not very fun. Nah, I don't like this. If you thought 3D Grand Prix was unplayable, then uh, yeah, uh, nuts to you, mate. Or as they thought people Brock famously said, fucks to your white mice. 
which my mate keeps uh, telling me is uh, nuts to your white mice, but I prefer my version. No, I don't like this at all, it's, uh, it's not good. Obligatory uh, loading screen, which you saw for about three seconds there. Okay, there is uh, a proper loading screen, that's why the uh, crappy AMSOFT text loading screen went off so quickly. So this is uh, Campeon, I presume that's how you pronounce it, which is possibly uh, Spanish for champions, I don't know. Anyway, sponsored by Champion Butt Plug, I mean Spark Plug, sorry. It's going to be silent there. Uh, not very good loading screen, I have to say. The trees look a bit shit. Uh, the car looks like it's been rendered on an 8 bit ray tracing program. Mm. But uh, yeah, this is not the game I'm looking for anyway. This is not the game you're looking for. Move along. Now, well, we're uh, almost halfway through the tape, so we're going to keep loading it. It may be a multi-load. Fucking better not be. And uh, there is this game that I downloaded a tape image for. Uh, it should be on here. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, and it's uh, an isometric uh, Zaxxon style game. Yeah, I've already done Zax, don't worry about that. Uh, that was one of the first games I've tried. And, uh, yeah, so I can't find that now, and I found it by accident. I can't even remember how I found it. It's, uh, it's an obscure game that I've never heard of, so... Well, it's definitely on the, uh, on my PC. Uh, I, I should have copied all the files from there onto here. I'm not sure. I may have missed a few. There is some missing that I had to re-download. So anyway, uh, when this finishes loading, we'll have a go at this. So uh, some sort of racing game. Well, that looks fucked. <clears throat> Said something about shift and uh, enter, I think. Oh, that's a shame. How'd you steer them? Cursor keys, I guess. Now do I fucking turn around? Fucking use a joystick, you dumb cunt. 